Welcome back, my friends, to this incredible summer day. No, it's actually almost Halloween, and I'm standing outside in the Northeast in a t-shirt. It is beautiful. But anyway, we're here with a problem today that if you're a homeowner and you have any kind of equipment or power equipment, you're going to run into this issue at some point. So my neighbor and I, we bought a pickup truck together to use as kind of like a Home Depot truck, around the house kind of truck. And it came with a plow and we don't need the plow. So we're selling the plow, but the plow had a couple things that we want to fix before we actually sell it. So let me show you what's going on here with this plow. Hi, and welcome to Dad Fixed It. My name is Eric and this is my family. We're a family of six living in the Northeast. As you can imagine, life is pretty expensive. To help us out, I try to fix everything I can around our house to help save money. I'm not a plumber, a carpenter, a mason, or an electrician, but I try my best with what I have. Hopefully I can help you fix something and save you a lot of money. Come along on this journey and let's learn together. Let's fix it. So this is the main control plug for the plow. And as you can see, some of the insulation has started to break down. Over time, it does happen on all your equipment, from salt, from sunlight, from abrasion. And it's not good because the, the wires will corrode, it'll break. So we need to fix this. What are our options to fix this? Well, one, we could buy a new harness, which is a couple hundred dollars, so no thanks. Two, we could cut this back and cut each wire, slip over some um, heat shrink tubing, no thanks. Uh, we could wrap each one with tape. That's going to make a massive bundle. But I have another solution which I'm going to share with you, which I'm betting you've probably never seen before. So we have here a can of liquid electrical tape. Creative name, but that's what it is. So what it's designed for is when you make like a butt connection or crimp or something like that um, to weatherproof that connection and seal it. But you can also use it to seal broken insulation on wires. It's incredible stuff. If you're going to use it, make sure you use it outside because it's pretty noxious. It's got multiple uses. You could use it in things like if your a mouse chews through the harness on your tractor or your lawnmower. Um, you have insulation breakdown like we have here. Uh, low voltage wiring outside. You can weatherproof it. If you have a connection that is subject to a lot of vibration, you can actually put this on like a nut that's holding down an electrical connection and it'll keep the nut from backing off. It's fantastic stuff and it even comes in different colors so you can tag things and identify different wires. We're gonna go ahead and use it on this because this is only 12 volts, it's not a big deal. I would not use this on household wiring. It's not rated for high voltage. It wouldn't pass inspection. It's not up to code. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix this problem today with this stuff, it's fantastic. So let's get started. So what I wanna do is kinda of secure uh, this plug. I'm gonna use a clamp, I think this will work. All right, so I put a fresh blade in this utility knife. I wanna be very careful. So what I wanna do, I wanna preserve um, this loom covering. So I'm just going to gently cut off their tape that's holding it. And I may have to cut it back a little bit, depending on how easily it slides. Yeah, it's so old and brittle. I think I'm gonna have to carefully, carefully cut it. Just be careful not to cut into the wire. I think it's a double layer too. Gently cut the tape off without cutting the insulation. And then that flies off like that. That was on purpose. Pull this back a bit. What we want to do is we want to spread it out as much as possible, each wire, so that we're able to cope. You can see right here, it's broken through. And over time, if we don't address that, it will corrode. The wire will break. Take a look at all the wires and figure out how many we actually need to fix. What I'm seeing right now, it looks like it only might be, I'm gonna try to isolate those four. All right, so we got the four that I wanna do now first. And this stuff takes about five minutes to dry per coat, 24 hours to completely cure. But I think you can, you can touch it in about 10 minutes after application. I'm gonna shake it up, make sure it's mixed really well. I do recommend not wearing your favorite clothes while you're doing this because this stuff is tough and it will be hard, if not impossible, to get off. You'll see it's, it's even tough to get off your fingers when it gets on it. So the best with this is just kind of like regular paint, like even spray paint. So use very, very thin layers. Don't glob it on. Don't have a ton on the brush when you go to use it. Just a little bit goes a long way. So we'll hit this first one. enough for that. Second one. Might be 
a little hard for you guys to see the third one. And the last one, I can get at an angle. And we're gonna let that dry for about five minutes and come back and put another coat on. All right, it's been about five minutes. We're gonna put on coat number two. Okay, I tried flipping the plug around so you guys could see it and I checked the rest of the wires. It is only these four. So uh, it's dry to the touch now, so we can add a little bit more to each one. Maybe go out a little bit past where you... It does smell like spray. It's pretty disgusting. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that that copper wiring is no longer exposed to the elements. Just like the original insulation. All right, I'm going to put two more coats on this. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. It's just a rinse and repeat type of thing. And then we'll come back later. We'll show you what it looks like when it's dry, how nice and flexible it stays. Uh, it's incredible stuff. We'll seal it up and this thing will be good as new. All right, guys. Well, it's been several hours. This thing's been curing. I put about five coats on, so I think that should be good. And I apologize for the light now. I know it's blowing everything out. But let's take a look. Nice, it's pliable. You can really see that it made a strong coating on there. It's not coming off. Sealed up all those cracks. Yeah, is it a little messy looking? Yeah, I guess it is, but as long as it protects the wire, I don't think it really matters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that loom back on, pull this back down. We're gonna tape it up. Oh, and tape. Let's talk about tape. So this is the stuff. I can't recommend this enough. I don't know if you can see this. It's Scotch Super 33 Plus tape. It's not cheap. It's very expensive. And I wouldn't recommend using it for everything you do with electrical tape, but get yourself one roll of this. This stuff stays so pliable and stretchy down to exceedingly cold temperatures. It sticks to almost anything. It blows all the other tape out of the water and I'm not exaggerating. This stuff is incredible. Scotch Super 33 Plus. So that's what I'm gonna be using to finish taping this because I know it'll hold up for a very long time. All right, so we're gonna pull this loom back down as far as we can. Put this Super 33 Plus on here. And anytime you tape a harness like this, especially if it's something that's outdoors, you really, really want to leave a little gap at the bottom. Because if you tape it all the way to the bottom and water gets in here, it has nowhere to go so it can sit, especially if this thing is pointing down. So it'll, it'll act on the wiring and it'll just not be good for it. And I think... We can call this fixed. All right, I think that's a wrap. You know, a few layers, really easy to apply. You know, I did get some on my hands, but you know, this stuff works fantastic. And you know, that'll stay flexible down into, I think, what is it, like minus 25 or something that's rated down to and up to 275. I have to look it up, but it's great stuff. It'll seal up that wiring. It'll protect the copper conductor and it should last a very long time. And you saw how easy it is to use. So again, don't use it on household wiring, but automotive, your mowers, your ATVs, things like that, your boat, uh, it'll work really, really well. So I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description for it. And I'll also leave a link for this Super 33 Plus because this stuff is incredible. I hope you guys learned something today. I hope maybe we can help you fix something uh, without having to spend a whole lot of money for a new harness or a big repair. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.